fine. I'm really mo motivated about uh, all the work that is being done and all the work that I'm doing and really excited about this call. And I will pass it to Septimus. Thank you, Juan. Yeah, I'm excited today. I was uh, starting uh, the thing on the grant and I was putting some money and then I was like, wow, all my money is gone and I didn't contribute to anything. But Sam then explained me like, this money is there, you just have to click in here and then it's all fine. And I was, wow, thanks, because I was feeling so bad because, you know, I was trying to contribute and I was thinking, man, I lose my money and I don't contribute, that's no good. But yeah, now it's, now it's awesome. Uh, and yeah, I'm great, I'm really great. And I'll pass it to Santi. Or maybe to Libby. Santi, are you there? Okay, I'll take a uh, while Santi comes back. Um, yeah, I'm great today. I've, I'm feeling a little bit anxious because I bought a new phone and and it's been so long that I don't buy a new phone. But then there is a, a, a winter storm coming and it's going to hit us in like an hour and it's going to be huge. There's like alarms about it and wizard. Um, how do you say it? Wiz what? Wizards? No. <laughs> uh, wizard? With a B. Blizzard. Blizzard warnings. Blizzard. Yeah. The, um, so I don't know if I will get to go pick it up or not. So I'm feeling kind of like, oh, will I be able to run before the storm? So yeah, uh, other than that, I'm great. And I pass to Jake. Snowstorms? Not really. Not really. Maybe, oh my like, god, it's, they're so fun. A couple, they're so awesome, especially when you're stuck in them and you're outside in your car and you can't leave. It's so cool. Oh my god. Anyways, um, I missed the onboarding call. That sucked because I had to call PayPal. Um, don't ever call PayPal if you can avoid having to talk to PayPal. Do it. Don't ever call PayPal. That's a freaking nightmare. It's horrible. What's PayPal, by it's the been way? Going on for like four weeks now too. And it's just, so other than that, I'm great. Uh, besides that, I've like made no progress with PayPal and it's been a month and that's awesome. Thanks PayPal. Really, really love how big you are. Yes. Uh, I'm reading the Google doc too at the same time. So I'm not really, I'm sorry. Uh, who, um, oh, hi Tam, you get to go now. Oh, well, thanks. Um, I feel very good. Um, for those of you who don't know, tonight is poker night. So my favorite night of the week. <laughs> um, and I'm looking, I'm a little nervous too, because I'm looking at our um, agenda, which I'm sure we'll never get through all of it. There's, there's like five sessions of agendas in here. Um, and I threw my things on the bottom, not to mean they're the lowest priority. So I wonder if we can prioritize those, um, especially the roadmap um, and Zen board um, and maybe time box it to something. So that's my that's my concern. That's my distraction is that we'll never get through this. But can we please get through uh, these two? <laughs> um, and I will pass it to if everyone deems it a priority and I will pass to uh, Tonga. I don't believe you've gone yet. Yes, I don't know what you're talking about, uh, but don't worry. Uh, uh, can I just be here to do nothing? Is it possible? Yeah, this is the this is the steward's call, but you're welcome to uh, to watch it for sure. Yeah, and yeah, if we're sharing that. just how we're doing. With you. Yeah, I guess you already know. So because I see you in every call. I'm going to be working at the other computer, but I will be listening to you. Uh, Santi, are you there now? Yeah, I'm struggling with the computer and Discord today, so I'm on the cell phone trying to catch up. 
So that's my distraction today. Hopefully I might be able to at least listen to the call and I will try to intervene when, when this equipment lets me. Thank you. Uh, Zeptimus, have you gone yet? Juan Carlos? I think yes or Juan, yeah. No, I, I already passed. I, I don't know if yes, but she, uh, let's leave her some time to eat. <laughs> In between bites, it's okay. Um, I feel a good today. I finally got the blog out. That felt nice. And my goal this week is just like one thing per day. That's it. I just want to every day ship one thing until the holiday. And I guess we distractions. Just eating for the first part. And yeah, I guess we have a lot to go into. So let's roll. Our Griff is coming or? I just messaged him. But I think we can start because, yes, there is so much in the agenda. So. I did want to go on a little session about the community stewards working group. And I think that will help us to be organized in the, in the longer run. And also I, um, I wrote under each one of the four, the agenda, uh, items, the ones that I thought we could that perhaps this call is not the best place for it, but then we can also discuss that on like, what is the most important things that we discuss in this call? So for gravity and uh, discussions on questions on becoming a hatcher, I suggest that we talk about them in the respective working groups. And, and then we can have uh, more time for this call, so I don't know if uh, Juan and Jess, do you agree? Sorry, what was the discuss? What was you? Which questions? Uh, there's a three agenda points that I suggest moving to the working groups instead of discussing it here. Uh, the one discussion of the hatch, and then uh, the gravity posts. Totally. I was just writing and I just wanted to say, I think mostly everybody was in the last call, but whoever wasn't just that, come to the comms working group next Tuesday because we're going to have a discussion around the narrative. Now that the legal working group is making the recommendation that we ask people to join the CSTAC Association. So it's a really important discussion. It will help to guide our narrative and really, really need like the collective feedback. So yes, comms working group. Cool. Thanks. Um, and yeah. Lee, um, on my yeah. topics, I just wanted to say uh, something really short that I invite uh, the stewards to review to see the the documents uh, because um, there is the idea of uh, starting a training from January to February uh, for the gravity group. So yeah, um, we are running like an open call and. That's it. Um, for tomorrow, we have uh, the gravity call, and we'll discuss this more deeply. Oh, awesome. OK, so I just want to, um, hey, Griff. So I, can I just make sure I understood? So Juan Carlos, you want us just to look at it and then provide feedback on those two documents? OK, got it. OK. Um, so just a little background for why I think it's important that we become uh, a working group, that the community stewards are not just a role, but that we have more of a structure for how we evolve every, our coordination. So now I think everybody's seeing how things are getting like crazier and crazier and it's not gonna be any different after the hatch it's, it's just gonna like increase if anything 
So we already have uh, a lot more working groups than we initially started with. And I think also that, for example, the TEC lab is also a working group and that we should also invite uh, Sean to be part of this group. And with the group getting bigger, uh, we start to have like, a, yeah, to have a necessity to coordinate better around everything we're doing. And I think this, the time of this meeting is becoming shorter and shorter, uh, hence how many topics we have in the agenda. So how can we prepare to be uh, the most organized possible and that the most important things uh, come to this uh, call for us to discuss and understand what is the structure. So I was thinking maybe we could use this meeting for a sprint planning and a sprint uh, review. So we could have like one call every two weeks that is one hour long call to plan it, to plan all the working groups issues and make sure that everyone arrives with the issues ready for their working groups. So we can like mostly coordinate and Americans speak more on that. We've been doing a similar process for the common stack and I think it would be very helpful to apply it here also. And then in the other week, uh, we do half of the session of the meeting to go through all the issues and see if we have any blocks and if we need coordination around them. And then the other half of the meeting for uh, two topics of discussion that perhaps we could vote what are the most important ones or we could have some type of consensus to work on them. So, uh, yeah, I would, I would like to like have a sense making around propo this proposed structure. And then I put in the agenda some questions that we should look into and prepare the template of the manifesto so we could fill it together. Uh, so mostly, yeah, to understand what are the goals? What is the benefit to the community? What is success and failure? How are we moving forward? Uh, what are our mi milestones? And they can they can be part of the sprint planning, and then we can update those milestones every month or something like that. So I just want to pass around and have a quick uh, temperature check on and if this is something everyone agrees with, and and then. I thought we could use like 15 minutes to work on the template together. We can all like just write down everything we think and then I can organize it later. I pass it to Jess. Yes, sounds good. Do you want me to give me feedback now about the questions or you just want us to say yes to the, doing this practice or I mean doing this work? Yeah, maybe that wasn't clear. Um, just if if you agree with uh, transforming this into a working group with having this structure for our calls uh, of a sprint planning and a sprint review and discussion. And if we can use this next 15 minutes to fill up the the manifesto yes and yes i think it will also help for like transparency or clarity around like our kind of mission as a working group and then um yeah sounds great pass the santi if, oh if he's there and back yeah i'm here uh, I agree. I think it's it's great if we can work on the template for 10, 15 minutes and, and share it all and reach an agreement together. I'll pass it to Tamara. Um, yeah, so I love the idea of us working on the manifesto together right now. Um, I also don't have a set 
thing in mind on what this group is going to be. So I'm super curious to hear um, what what we come up with uh, as a as a group for the um, the sprint planning. I just love it so much. I really think that all of the uh, project managers for each working group planning their own work from sprint to sprint is the best way we can move forward. And I like the idea of us doing um, one week of a sprint of the, the sprint planning for an hour. And then the next week is sort of like a check-in blockers, other things. And then the last week would be a retrospective. I don't know if we would do a review because we, we might have something to show. We might have something to show. And then we could also record that and publish the, those, uh, those sprint reviews for the larger community as well, the way we're doing with Common Stack. So um, I don't want to take up any more time. So I will pass it to Juan Carlos now. Um, well, I think that um, my initial ideas is that uh, the success of this group would be to coordinate smoothly the work between uh, all the different working groups. And the failure would be that uh, the working groups are developing work uh, with a connection between each other. That's like my initial idea. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think what is going, what the, this is basically the process that we use for the common stack, and I think it's would be a really good idea to just port something that feels like it's evolved and uh, with with a lot of the same people uh, that's already working seems like the right way to go. And then, uh, yeah, I think the plan seems good. We might need more of that time on we'll have to have extra meetings to do it so that like the friday retrospective uh on, at the end of the two weeks will be a thing and yeah what was the other thing oh yeah yeah let's hack the manifesto today uh and i'll pass the zap yeah i also agree i think it will help a lot to be more more structured and more coordinated all the working groups and uh, yeah, let's work on the manifesto. Uh, I'll pass it to Jake. Yeah, because before I even knew this group existed, that's kind of what I was looking forward. Because um, everybody gets off on their own, and that's great. Um, I like that, but we do need to be able to come together at some point because of how much stuff interacts with each other. I really would like to know personally where other people are. So if I end up with part of my project into someone else's, I'd want to know exactly what's going on there so we can help work together. Um, so, uh, yeah, having having meetups, however that is got to look like what, what Tam said sounded perfect to me. So that that's awesome. Um, and then, yeah, here I am. Let's go. Yeah, so I think we don't need a review because we have the Thursday calls and they are kind of like an open review every Thursday. So we can save that time and use it for like discussions that might be uh, a bit off topic of the sprints and things that we need to coordinate on. So, so I think we can jump in the, the manifesto and start writing on it. I'll time us for uh, 10 minutes. Let's see how much we can do and then if we need more time we can we can get it well we can find that document oh it's in the agenda in the stewards chat
Or should we start like writing like in like that's the agenda, but I don't Oh sorry. There is a in the agenda on the top of it, there is a document, Community Stewards Working Group Manifesto. Yeah, thank you. Found it. So we're writing in there, yeah.
Do we need any more time? I'm working in another doc. I'll take that as a. Um, well, we could start now too, and I could continue while we're while we're starting. Oh, you said you, you need more time. I mean, I I can continue while we're talking. I I can continue sort of parallel discussion. Okay, so let's um, review it and then. Not sure what is the best way to do it. Is there anything uh, somebody uh, wants to share from this? I, I would just say, you know, we got to recognize we're basically the overhead, you know, we are the, the operations and it, it's okay, you know, um, but that's, that's what this working group really f feels like. It's just like, the management and coordination of making sure that everything is greased up and oiled, you know? Uh, so, you know, every other working group is really sexy and fun. And we're the one that everyone is like, well, you know, that's just like how nonprofits work. There's overhead. So it's okay, you know, um, but we just have to accept that. I hope that doesn't become lame. Who feels lame? Nobody feels lame here. <laughs> the awesome soccer moms. Same. So one thing um, I would like to bring up is that we don't really have an offboarding process and maybe it would be nice to think about that at some point because, I mean, we have two options. One is the working group continues to grow forever, but I think it's important that all of the people here feel very engaged in it. Otherwise we would start to have like some bad administration of what is happening. If some people are like not so active or if they don't have, or if our responsibilities are not in equilibrium, you know? Um, maybe that's something to to think about, like how do we offboard? Is there like is there anything such as if you're not leading a working group or if you don't have or if you're you're like what you were focusing on uh, got to an end? Is it like a process to not have? Uh, this steward be a steward anymore or like what do you guys think about that i kind of think maybe i'd like to hear from juan because i feel like this is a little bit it's not like sanctions necessarily but it is some kind of like code of expectations or like a social agreement around what could somebody do to like get kicked out or yeah boarding is a nicer way to say it or just like what are the expectations of being a steward Well, um, I th I think that there is um, when uh, questions around these topics that what I'm proposing is that uh, that would be a function of the gravity group, and that is uh, something that would be like with continuous work. Um, and I don't have an answer for this moment, but I totally agree that uh, there should be like a boundary. And and when like uh, people don't commit to our rules, or when they just simply don't want to be involved anymore, they can just uh, take a, a a path to to follow. Yeah, I think there's definitely the conflict point, but there is one that it's more uh, simple too. That is just like, oh, there's no reason for you to be here anymore. I, I don't know if that's like, um, yeah. I have some thoughts because it's a, it's a really interesting question. There are some working groups that um, have a finite end, you know, like they, they finish the work and then there's, um, there's 
there's nothing left of like the working group dissolves. And I think the question is like, what, what do we do with the stewards when the working group dissolves? Um, whether there's some other working group that, you know, they start to work on. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting question. I don't know what the answer is, to be honest. So it's a very good question. And then there's like, um, I guess first I also want to say that Ivy, I added Ivy to this list because she's going to help us do, um, she's joining us as a project coordinator, Common Stack. Um, and I think she can help with some of the coordination, um, at least in the beginning for this. And then I think, you know, the other question, um, I feel like, well, I'm not a steward of this group, you know, and I don't think I'm, I don't know, like, so, um, you know, I feel like I'm very involved in this right now um, because we're, we're sort of, we're getting the, the balls rolling with TEC, but eventually I don't think that I would be part of this, this community, this TEC stewards group as well. So maybe that's, you know, a use case that we can, you know, jam on to. Well, I added you as a uh, project manager, and I think that is a, like a steward. Well, um, you have a lot of responsibilities in it. I don't think it's only leading a working group, but it's like having responsibilities within the group. Um, I, I also uh, was proposing that uh, for the gravity group, there was um, like an, a, a specific code of conduct. So like uh, maybe we can uh, commit to uh, certain additional uh, requirements uh, like uh, confidentiality on sensitive topics or like uh, self-determination uh, because that would leave, uh, like um, make us be able um to to have also like a boundary of trust between us and and what can we like not expect from a from a steward from a steward and what can be like an unwanted behavior for this role also i feel like it should really maybe be up to the individual in a way like just because something dissolves like maybe the person's really excited and loves being a steward and there's always going to be more you know work that needs stewarding so i don't think there'll be an issue of like not enough work i think maybe just up to the individual like some people just want to maybe put in three months and then take a break maybe can they come back at some point like i think we can be a little bit fluid but leave it up to the individuals especially if they've like honored us with putting in so much work um, then I think they sh should be welcome to stay if they like. I, I generally think this should be an open call. I don't necessarily, like Tonga is here. It's great that he's here. And I, I don't think that we should kick him out because he's not a steward, you know, because uh, he's, he's not leading a project. So people should be able to come and listen. But if they don't have stuff to move on the GitHub board, then like they probably won't be participating actively, you know, uh, as far as like, what I think is more challenging is when, let's say that we put someone, someone ends up taking the leadership of a certain task and just keeps dropping it, you know? Then it's like, how do we be like, hey, um, actually this thing needs to get done and you're not doing it. Like, there needs to be some kind of process there. Otherwise we will run into stagnation and eventually there'll just be more people taking projects and then them not getting done. So, yeah, I, I don't think that there's a wrong way for that. I, we just have to pick a way and who wants to do it. <laughs> Sounds like Juan, Gravity Group is down for taking that on. And I think we could use, it'd be a great template for all of the groups maybe as well. Yes, um, uh, as I was saying, uh that um the next phase that we are trying to to start in the gravity group um involves uh people in, in answer questions in a in a collective way cool so maybe we can uh move on I will organize the 
the manifesto with all the answers we got and then then circle back with everyone until we reach the, the final form. And last thing, if you have anything, uh, if if we should continue to do an onboarding process for the stewards, that is a 30 minutes call. I don't know if that was, I don't think that was happening anymore. Do you guys think this is still necessary to continue with? Yeah, I guess I feel pretty strongly about this one because I it has kind of felt like it's been dropped. And I feel like for a while I was kind of messaging all the new people, but then I just kind of stopped also. So I think that you set up this great tracking thing, Livia. We just need to kind of maybe take this. We've all been really busy, but maybe just have somebody leading the responsibility taking on responsibility for this process like to make sure it happens and like cat herding us shepherd shepherding us and uh, i also added four new members that i am aware of just from the last couple of days that join working groups that are new so maybe assigning people to take on the getting these people to say hi to the te praise channel sending them like now the kickoff article is what i usually send and hopefully soon you know we the forum welcome but uh, i think we need to like commit to this process if we are going to do it and i do think it's important so people don't go away i'd like to add here like for example uh, when somebody new is like the other day there was a, a friend of tonga who was new and i and someone said like who, who uh, to onboard him and i I wanted to do it, but I hesitate because I don't know uh, the exact things I should explain to him. And if we have like some kind of uh, document with the, uh, with the specific things we should say or explain to our new people, that would be so great to to be like super fluent. And yeah, that's what I think. Does something like that exist? Is there a sort of like a... Um... So that's the refer. forum that we are trying to finish this week. So for now, I've just been sending people the kickoff article and I get them to say hi or send an emoji in praise channel. And then I answer their questions and invite them to the Thursday call. And then, yeah, hopefully we're going to finish the forum this week and then we can just point them straight to the forum because that will have everything. Yeah, it's mostly a, like a warm welcome, you know, so the person has a single point of contact that is not the whole group. And then they can feel comfortable to ask any questions in a direct way. And it's like, yeah, it's this one-on-one -on -one check in. And I was I was asking also about the onboarding of stewards, like because we used to have uh, a thirty minute call for when a steward is onboarded. But then we kind of stopped doing that. Um, so I wonder if that's interesting, and I think it is actually by this conversation that we're having now. Like, right, that Zaptimus like would like some clarity on how to onboard contributors, and just maybe this is a practice that makes sure that we are all on the same page, and we can continue to do that, and then we can decide for each uh, steward that we onboard uh, who is going to do it. Maybe have like a rotative um thing can i ask how many stewards are we expecting to like um what is our expectation in terms of how many of us there can possibly there could be that's a good question of capacity like what is the max capacity of coordination like how many working groups could we do like a sprint for at once well, also, also um, have funding for right because every working group is going to have to have a proposal for submitted for funding to continue um, to continue that working group. So I guess it's also a matter of like budgeting. Like, what are we expecting in terms of the kind of uh, proposals that we'll we'll be submitting? Is, is it okay is be, before we get on that topic? Is it okay if we finish the onboarding people discussion to like? Sign roles and also maybe Livia. I'm sorry, I don't have that document handy. Just can, uh, could we finish this one and then open the? Okay. 
Livy, I, I, if you could add, I basically just sat here in the agenda and put like the process right now, and then I'll add the process we're moving towards. Yeah, do we want to use that document? Is that isn't that what you made that document for, Livia? Do we want to use that? And then, do people like the idea of like having one person that takes responsibility for like a couple of weeks, or do we want to split it up for like handling the new folks? Um, my feeling about that is that um, maybe this, you know, having this process is awesome. And then um, anyone who wants to volunteer and feels comfortable doing it, like if Septimus feels comfortable doing it, I think anyone can do it. And maybe we do a sort of tracking um, the way we're doing with um, the, uh, the new proposals. We either have a spreadsheet or some documents or, you know, even, even a, uh, an issue that we throw into GitHub and just a list of new people. And then, you know, every week, some person appoints themselves or is appointed responsible for onboarding that new group. Maybe it's like a weekly thing. You're a week of onboarding and then there's um, a list of new people that week and every week could rotate however, however it makes sense, however uh, uh, resources, whatever resources we have for that week might be an idea. We are a bit like sensitive on time. I know, Tam, you said you wanted to like, go for the for the Zen Hub board. Maybe well, we could, uh, mm -hmm. sorry, just before passing over, can we do like a 20 seconds round of what are the things you want to discuss that we haven't discussed about the about being a steward? Like what is missing in our sense-making coordination that we should at some point make time and space for? I pass, uh, pass to Santi. I think onboarding, it's, uh, it's gonna be more and more important as we launch because there's gonna be people coming into the project that that's new and the project will be much more evolved and that in in a way i think it's great to keep the sessions the 30 minute sessions but uh maybe a hybrid method of sending them or giving them the links to follow or a path to follow and one contact person they can have and they can reach out that that would maybe i tend to think that that could be better. I don't know. All right. Uh, because sometimes you may spend 30 minutes and no one may show up just because they cannot be at that specific specific time, not because they don't want to be, but they, they don't have the schedule free on that specific time. And you've been waiting there and no one shows up. So I think we could we could try that that other option. And concerning the stewards, I think we have to see how everything evolves. I agree. For instance, we have the case of of Craig. He was he was busy, and we we were able, you know, to help him on 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 the uh, onboarding group. And now Eduardo is taking care of leading the group, and for a period of time, Libby and Jessica were leading that, and they are still helping. So I think we are still small enough to manage those situations easily right now. But it's true that as we grow. We probably will need to have something put together, and it will be great if if uh, Juan Carlos can lead can lead on that. And I will pass it to Jake. And just to clarify, one point is that we we never did thirty minute calls for every contributor. It was just for stewards. But we have that. We had some period of time. I thought. It, I remember joining one of those meetings with Rosa. Remember, Jess? I don't know who was there, but I think it was you, Libby, leading that, that yeah. session when I presented Rosa to, the, oh, to that, the group. Yeah, that was just like a collective one, you know, just an open collective one. But then the the one-on-one -on -one, uh, to be just for, for stewards 
just so there is like an understanding of what this group is. If I could just jump, but you're you're right. With one more thing, is maybe we have a steward that is just in charge of this. Would be a great idea, but yeah, Santi, I totally agree with you. I think we can we start with what we have now, and then we move towards the ideal. And when the new Discord comes, a lot of this will change because the onboarding will be more automated. But I think still a personal touch. What do you think, Jake? Um, well, thinking longer term, yeah, I would definitely think it'd be better to have specifically to automating as much is really helpful because. These new people coming in, are we trying to direct them towards being a trusted seed? Or are we just trying to educate them on what we see? Um, because, you know, a lot of these people are going to come in and not really know. So that whole path should be separate from us actually looking for who's going to be, you know, C-Stack token holders and trusted seed applicants and all of that. Uh, also, too, like thinking back with Tam, you know, at some point, I, I'm looking down here on this doc that I'm Tech Param's working group lead. Well, I'm going to come to an end on that at some point. And it, the quicker, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and then it's like, then then I got to go towards, I got to go, I got to go do something else. You know what I mean? So like that transition, I'm not worried about it, but I mean, there will be a transition there. I got to go jump into something else. Um because I don't, I don't even know, like, if I'm really, like, with Tam, too, I don't know if I'm a community steward. I, I just, you know, I, I'm, I don't know about that either. Um, oh, there was one more thing. Oh, yeah, as far as, like, and then being around large amounts of people and separate groups and then other people that are directed on top of those groups all working fluidly together as time goes on, um, talking about how to hold people accountable. That is a big concern because the biggest thing I've always seen in my time is complacency. People get used to what things going certain ways and they won't change as time goes on. And the bigger this gets, it's going to be more important that we work together because it'll be really easy to drift apart. And then it's harder to reach out and grab other people and be like, hey, how's your group doing? Why, why are we slowing down here now? And now you're a blocker. And then dealing with that as it comes. That's a big issue when you when you when it gets bigger. Uh, that's that's my two cents. Um, who hasn't gone? Yeah, I didn't go yet. And uh, we, we, we okay. were talking about that. I think that's pretty cool. And I also would like. I mean, it's only ten minutes left. I would really would like some feedback on the transparency working group manifesto. And I think that's going to be really cool. So. Uh, maybe uh, someone didn't go yet, maybe he finished and then I just share my screen and, and we start. Okay. I, I don't, I, can I just jump in? I really think we should look at the, the roadmap, which I'm sorry, Septimus, I know your transparency working group is really important, but we need to communicate to people what our dates are and what we're doing when. And I think that has to take priority over this, over the transparency working group. But I. I'm 100% behind the transparency working group. What about Zap gets three minutes and Tam gets uh, seven? <laughs> yeah, I'm normally fast, so I think I can do it pretty fast. Uh, okay, I share screen. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, th yeah, we were discussing like uh, building this manifesto with uh, uh, Ivy and Tonga, and there there was uh, like two points of view. For example, on the um, yeah here on the uh, like uh, like everything should be transparent, or we wanna decide what gonna be transparent or not. Like uh, for me. It should be everything transparent, but uh, at the same time, uh, there were some objections on that, uh, and I think it's in interesting to discuss. But uh, and uh, yeah, what uh, um, yeah, and then another thing we were discussing is it's very important uh, to have like uh, agreements. Some uh, people is going to be recorded. Uh, Olivia gave us a, a great feedback to add uh, this on the terms and conditions. And I think that would be really cool because 
Now, yeah, I mean, uh, and well, it's, it's it's a lot of things going on. Uh, another thing, it's important. It's uh, for example, if we are going to be live streaming, uh, so, I mean, it's going to be streamed. Uh, I remember, for example, one call when one person told me uh, I don't want that thing to be on the call, and I had to edit that thing, and then I remove it, so it went never public. But if it's stream, uh, it's going to be public all the time, uh, and. Yeah, here uh, Levi told, yeah, that's beyond scope and that's true because what I wanted to say, what we wanted to say in here uh, is uh, every step is like not in the whole tech, but in the working group, like uh, th both are related and like every community member who wants to participate in this working group uh, should know all the steps and we are uh, with Ivy trying to build a system where uh, it's simple for everyone who wants to participate and yeah I uh... I think we're uh, we should pass to Tem but thanks up for sharing it and okay. and maybe we could all like give a, get into the document and give our feedback and coordinate about it in the chat. We can have those discussions in the chat. We could announce it tomorrow on the call and open it up to the community for feedback if you need more feedback, Optimus. Sounds good, actually. Um, I gave a little feedback, but I do think that there's, it merits more discussion. Um, so for the last few minutes, I hope I'm sharing the right thing. Hold on. Um, uh, this should be this one, I think. Okay. So we did our um, working session last week. I think I'm sharing the right thing. Is this correct? Yes. Um, give me one minute, please. Okay. So this is from our uh, work. Um, put all the milestones um, on our sprint board. Um, and this is what um, I've taken and um, sort of produced from that. And the, the idea is that this is the roadmap to the TEC hatch. So we really don't talk about post TEC hatch yet. And more specifically, this is not us looking at what we need to do as a community stewards. This is us saying, hey, community, interested public at large, this is what TEC is doing. This is our roadmap to patch. So um, I uh, was faithful to the work that we uh, built here together, but um, changed some of the wordings to be more public friendly. And I would love um, if we could, um, you know, if you guys can give me the, uh, you know, some feedback on some of the wording that we're using. And what is the message really that we want to send to the community about what our working groups are doing? Like, um, you know, I, I, I think that a lot of this was pretty, um, as generic as I could make it with it still being specific to TEC. Um, so I'll let you guys, you guys, uh, everyone has the document, feel free to jump in. If you don't have it, uh, I'll publish it. Uh, sorry, I'll throw it in the meeting notes now. It's probably where I should have done. Um, and the telegram while you're pasting. This looks okay. incredible, Tamara. It's so beautiful. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thanks. I want it to be really accurate and to be helpful. <laughs> um, so well, it's here. also just I really pretty. appreciate this. Thank oh, you. cool. Good. You know, I've sort of noticed some things too, just in terms of like, hey, us together, like, um, you know, for example, here are the call for proposals for programs one, and then you know, maybe we're a little bit, I don't know, just for us to sort of look at and point to where like our, our work dovetails nicely to the same goal versus where we have some staccato, you know, where, where we can, you know, resync a little bit on how we connect everything together. So you want me to drop in the Telegram group too? Of course, that makes really a lot of sense. And then I think once we get some, um, once we get, I mean, I'd love to publish this like by our next stewards call. You know, maybe we we have some time 
And in our next stewards call, we get ready to publish this to the community. Like we give ourselves a week to massage this to what we can communicate publicly. And then we make sure that we alert, we, we inform our community of what we're doing. I think we owe it to them, you know. So please take some time to look and think and review. Did you leave the uh, link, Tamara? I dropped it in the Stewart's Telegram, and I also dropped it in the um, the um, agenda. Okay. Um, okay. If you look for my name there, you should find it. So in the last two minutes, I would just like us to, um, I'd just like us to, you know, just initial feedback. Do you think that um, we can, like, it's ready to go? Or do you think that we take some time and, um, you know, commit to a date where we will have this finalized and ready to publish at large? So I'd, I'd like to open it up to anyone who wants to comment on that. Or I could choose start choosing people. <laughs> uh, I'll leave it. I'll leave it up to people to. I mean, I would love to publicly commit to a hatch date and just make sure that people know that it's not like, hey, we'll see what happens, and this roadmap is a working document that we'll keep updated, something like that. And of course, the roadmap, the real roadmaps on GitHub. Yeah. Uh, maybe it should just have a link to. This should have a link to GitHub. Yeah. Yeah. Good feedback. Anybody else? Because it's poker time. I, I, I need access. I made a request. Someone's got to let me in. I gave you access. I think we kind of still need to flesh this out a bit more, or maybe not. I just don't know. It's really hard to say how realistic these timelines are at this moment. I think there'll be more clarity in by mid or end of January, maybe by sprint seven have like hard more clarity around how realistic it is because i've yeah i do have a feeling though that uh timelines are all always kind of bullshitting and then sometimes when we commit to it that means like we plan life to make it happen in that way that's kind of what happened with the roadmap that we did for for the TC initially. So I feel like it's good to have a date. I think so too. We we were doing a great job at following that roadmap. I mean my risk here is you know I was on the TEC Academy intro and she was still saying that the TEC comments was going so my what I think we owe to the community is a um, a a revision a revision of that message so that they're also giving accurate information um, as sort of you know our our you know, stakeholders really. We are delaying the hatch in three months. I think is is kind of safe. It feels to me this date. I mean, this I didn't make this up. This is this all comes from this session <laughs> uh, where we we defined our highlight. I just starting to be more uh, externally focused. So that somebody can look at it and understand versus some of the our, our own internal um, milestones, which were really specific for us to understand.
Michael. We were just missing the launching party there. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yes, very good feedback. <laughs> Sprint 10, party time. No, yeah, I think this looks great. I think I think this is great if we want to share it externally to have something and then we'll just adjust it. And particularly, I think in January, we could have a prediction market. We could have to take some best <laughs> prediction market when we get a launch. Dynamic bonding curves. Oh, wait, it's not ready. Um, bet? Everybody bet. Let's get into the game. Um, is there anybody who wants to change the wording? Because we can, we can, um, I, I wanted just to give everyone time to, and wait, you know, wait a week till the next stewards meeting. But if we can share it earlier, I think that's even better, to be honest. But I will, we will, we will do whatever we. I also don't think there's a rush. I mean, I just put in the news article, like a blurb, like, hey, we're adjusting roadmap. So I think if for whatever reason it comes out after the holidays, it's also fine. But if you're feeling like super urgent about it, so maybe we can work on this async and then we can all just give a thumbs when we think it's ready to go. We could say for the rest of the week feedback and then by Friday, everybody gives feedback. And then if you... You're frozen, Jess. But I, I also agree that maybe until Friday, is everyone on board with giving feedback before Friday? I mean, uh, I the only people, the people who aren't here are the, are the main ones I'm worried. Honestly, I wish we could all just do this right now and give our best guess and present it tomorrow. I personally, I really wish we could do that. But I think Eduardo is probably you know, asleep and we'd have to chase him down. Um, yeah, and other than that, I think we should, it shouldn't take, it would take 10 minutes to look at this and decide right Can we just say till the end of the Yeah, I agree with everybody. Give yeah, I agree with you. Sorry, we couldn't Sorry. hear you, Jess. Sorry, Olivia, there was a, pop a break um i was saying can we do it async and say by the end of the day everybody give your feedback and eduardo in the morning before the meeting anyway i think we can show this to community it's fine i don't think it's gonna change like so much i agree so you guys can go play poker we can just everybody yeah. everybody put give a comment to tamra or put a note in here by end of day and Eduardo will give until tomorrow morning. Yes, I just want to give a reminder that tomorrow is the last, uh, the last uh, community call of the year. So I think it's really important to share this tomorrow. Oh, are we not doing 31 then? That also wasn't clear. I, th I forgot to bring that up. I, I think it makes sense to skip. I mean, I would be down to host every community call and say no one's obliged to go i also understand the idea of like taking it off and saying that making it formal so um yeah it's just that it's going to be on the 24th and 31st it's like the worst days yeah see you guys next year <laughs> But it, but if you want to host it, Griff, I think it's valid. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they could we just can be we can discuss too. that. I would go, Griff. Maybe it's just you and me. Yeah, you guys yeah. go for it. I'll go. I'll be there. It'll be okay. Yeah, <laughs> I think that the, the praise giving was a fun experience, and it's good uh, for community building. Also, there, there is these people that maybe those days is a little bit nostalgic. So we can give them a little bit of happiness as a community. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of people stuck inside, uh, sad about their Christmas. So. All right, now you guys uh, are making me feel like I should do a Christmas giving. I don't know. There's also a lot of people that don't. There's also a lot of people that don't. 
Sorry, I'm laggy. There's also a lot of people that don't celebrate Christmas. Hanukkah, I celebrate. Both. Has no meaning to we'll that. do it, Kwanzaa Ramadanica mist. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm gonna okay. run the poker. I'm gonna play poker. Play poker.